some good X marks, something to kill all True. the spiders as well in the Tidebringer. It runs out the draft pretty nicely. Queen of Pain. Hmm. Queen, huh? More burst damage, so more ways to kind of deal with Wind Ranger, get through the Omni's heal and sustain. But... It's not a very common facet anymore ever since uh, they it? nerfed it. There used to be a time of people putting the webs on every lane, but. Oh, Cracker. Uh, Dropping low. Some incredible damage. A little strat and a, a blood grenade, just level two. Um, yeah, because there's like, there's like four or five different weird tags in Dota where it's like you gain HP or you heal HP or you regen HP. Oh, down goes Mr. Primal. You lose HP he, he in, the, yes. <laughs> in the case of the Primal here, been taking a bit too much damage and down he goes. Jeez, that two man scatter blast across the front of this bottom lane as well. Nasty times. More playing clockwork. Oh no, he's farming them. <laughs> Three cogs dead immediately, and Clockwork soon to follow. And he's, he's basically is a cog. The cog he with is. legs. Oh no, it's just a higher bounty cog. Worth mentioning is that Radiant have done great job stacking up already, though. They have double, they have um, triple stack on both Ancient and Big. Now going mid. Yeah, diving the Primal Beast. I'm looking for a kill again, but Omni Knight is here with a ton of heals. It's not enough to save him. And Riddies might have actually put himself in harm's way now. Yeah, getting clicked, blink ready as well. I think there's no way out of this one. Blood grenade. Cracker's clockwork has arrived. It gives Moonlight a double kill with a courier snipe on top. Ooh. And Cracker is coming in behind. Not level six on the clockwork yet. Just looking at this Omni Knight. And he's got himself the repel and TP. Well, got the juice blood grenaded, but wind runs. Oh, he could the get right hand lift, side. Though. Lifted up by the Rubik, though. Closes the gap in on the Wind Ranger. Traps him in the cogs. And got the juice. He's having cogs kicked at him. They'll break her free, though, with good little Shredder and Cookie. It gets the Wind Ranger out of danger. Power Shot slices across the Rubik. And it's QBFY who's the one to die. And they're even chasing for more here. He gets slowed down. He purges the Primal <laughs> Beast and then runs away. Fortnite, man. He's done it again. <laughs> he's done you in. Uh, he's got a solution for everything. Oh, they're going again? Uh, they're going around. again. Queen of Pain's come through the gate. They've got to know where this Wind Ranger is. Come on, it can't be that difficult. She only had like 200 HP, the Blood Grenade, and the Sonic Wave. There we go. At the moment you see the Omni Knight come in and heal there, you're just like, okay, I'll use my ulti, get the kill. Get obliterated by his own spell. Oh. Down bottom, this Broodmother's hook shot in on the high ground, blinked and doomed upon, but now to the low ground we head. Brood, big onslaughts across the Sonic Wave, destroys the Brood. And the Doom of the Clock is still up on the high ground here as the Primal Beast oh, comes in, pulverizes to cancel the TP, so the Kisses can come in on the Fortnite man. He's stuck on top of his own tower, he's built a 4x4, four four, but it's crumbled <laughs> down. They've collapsed his building, the Doom is dead, the Broodmother was the trade, and honestly, I, it's okay for the Radiant. But oh, they're still gonna keep fighting here under the ward, deny their own ward. Radiant have to back out here, dangerous fights into the vision. Shackle shot, they've got the quap. The follow through, oh. where is it? He's got blanch though. They don't have any further damage or disables for the Queen of Pain, so Moonlight's fine, and the waveform from Crystallize gets the Windrunner. Niku's now in a bit of danger as well, trying to trample and waddle off back to the right hand side of the map. Uh, it looked a bit too risky, but that's Fortnite Man. He yearns for the sky. That's <laughs> true Fortnite Man. The high ground, that's what he's after, and this vision gave them the perfect opportunity to collapse on the Wind Ranger in the Ancients. <laughs> the side lanes, you just rush to the side, okay. you know, go, go to the closest big camp, that's the, and then you start working away towards the outpost. Step by step. Oh, move forward here from Navi Jr. Onto the Doom and a good snipe. Niku is actually the one to get the final touch. I thought it was the Wind Ranger from long range. Yeah, they want Broodmother. They're realizing they're splitting up down here. They have an Observer Ward, spotting Brood farming all alone. And they catch her, though. That's the tricky part. Link and purged and doom her? I guess so. Oh, oh that's they kill on the spidlings. All the little brood babies are dead. Sonic that's... wave, hookshot, doom. How many ulties do you need? Kitchen sink. All of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a pretty scary prospect. So, Navi Jr. just sitting on that mid-tier one. Wind Ooh, Ranger front. Them. Omni behind. Brood. They've got the brood mother. Again, so it's twice in a row. 
insane <laughs> in this team fight. Yeah, I guess I was looking at the Dragon Lance and thinking, is, was that a necessity? You know. Oh, Doom is in. Yeah, They've jumped on to not just the snap, but also maybe the Brood. Oh, they go for the snap instead. A bit of a poke and a hook shot. Angles right into the back line where the Primal Beast was lurking. Attacking it though. Difficult fight to continue. The Queen of Pain's trying just to keep going on this snap fire. Navi Jr., they've let her. The big wraparound here from Navi Jr. coming from below. Look at the clockwork. Jap hacking over. He thinks he's going to scout them, but they don't realize they're on crystallized. But he turns around. Oh, this Wind Ranger evaporating the morphs and gets the damage done and kills. Got the juice. Not got it anymore, have you? Poor Niku trapped in the cogs now. Has the BKB to try and run away. Broodmother chasing QBFY. Gets the kill on Rubik. Taken down, but this is a losing fight now. The Queen of Pain. The Doom. I'm going to track back and find their targets. Broodmother and Snapfire frantically trying to escape from this one. Through the Twin Gate. Through the tree lines. But Queen of Pain and Morphling. It looks like they should be able to get a glimpse <laughs> of the Brood. They know that she's around the there somewhere. Boy. Hiding in the trees down further south. Oh no, he got caught. A shackled up. There we go. The stun they needed. Kill off PMA before any more nonsense happens. He didn't have more spy, uh, spin web charges there at first. He got one at the very end, but he didn't really find a way out of that one. And the Scream of Pain helping them locate exactly where he was. So it turns out into an amazing fight here for uh, for Polyandesia. They actually get every single core hero killed. I think uh, this is this is a great show of discipline here as well. Even though they have Aegis on Morphling, they're not going crazy for pushing into base. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're trying to kind of bait Navi Jr. out of their base so they can find kills. But this Shackle Ooh. Shot's huge on the Queen of Pain. Four staff, BKB, Pulverize comes in and the damage is there. Moonlight dead, the streak is gone. Rubik, left to his own devices, is going to get surrounded by the Brood, the Wind Ranger. And yeah, stunned up until Daze finishes him off. Omni did see the ward here as he walked up. Hookshot misses. The Doom and the Queen of Pain are in straight onto the Omni. Trying to burst him down. Fresco with his cogs out, but he's dead to the Wind Ranger. Who BKBs and runs out. Doomed up though. Got the juice in some serious trouble as Crystallized tracks back. Not quite able to finish the job, but the Queen of Pain probably should. Finishes off the Wind Ranger now. And they get them all like, out of danger too. Throws the shackle shot onto the Primal Beast. They've lost Fortnite, man. And that's sad. And the Morphling, he's about to die as well. Crystallize, he's been turned on. Wait all the screams. Off. Watch out for the The screams Queen. are here. The double kill, the triple. Moonlight. Massive damage out of these screams and daggers as they'll grab every single one of Na'Vi Jr. Yeah, let's look right now. They have a smoke ready, so they're going to pop it immediately and run over. They should be there in time as well, even though it's a fast Roche. I say that, but uh -huh. it is dying quickly. 4,000, 3,000. Oh, yeah. They got a rush in. Yeah, Mink with a spot. The Brutus right there. Morphling stunned. He gets bashed up by Roche. Roche and dies. Crystallize gets it. Aegis in the hands of the Morphling now. Can stand this ground. Get the damage down. Oh, you got the juice. The Wind Ranger's gone. Die back out of the clockwork, but I don't think he cares. He's set up for a glorious fight as Crystallize will annihilate them. Walls are falling and crumbling one by one under the feet of Crystallize's Morphling. Nat fire lifted. Got mid TP and will die herself. Still playing very deliberately. Steps up, steps back, kills the wall, kills the broodlings, and then back towards the buildings once you feel things are safe, which they're currently not. It does take a fair amount of damage from the cookie and the little spiderlings, in fact. Been just spamming from the low ground here. Happy to dish out damage. Oh, wind? Popped ulti for a clockwork. Doesn't yeah. kill him, though. Oh no, Cracker. now you have no damage. He's gonna have the Broodmother thrown at him, but they've gone in with a Doom and the Queen of Pain Sonic Wave. The Wind Ranger yet again shows her face and has four enemy heroes on top of her. Tries to get into the fountain. He's gonna die. No buyback on, got the juice. Dead Wind Ranger, four alive with an Aegis still in hand for the Morphling. Radiant team gonna cruise through another set of barracks. As their free gem on the floor. They'll grab that up for good measure as well. Buy back on the... No signs of stopping here. It's hexed. Yeah. Buy back on the beast to onslaught and trample into the hexed up Morphling, but he's got and a style enough sustained to turn around and continue fighting. Pulverize the Queen of Pain. Maybe they can kill him off. Ooh. Moonlight is dead, but Crystallize is still here. The big bad, the Morphling, is destroying you. Niku tanking through it reasonably well. The Doom now the focal point here as Navi Junior turn onto them and try and get the kill. Doom down and buybacks galore. Buybacks. Queen of Pain and the Doom both returning to battle, knowing that the Wind Ranger is dead for 70. They wanted to just shut this door. Close out this game one. 
and stop Narvi Jr. from having any forms of defense. There's the Primal Beast dead. Omni Knight and Snapfire, a lot on their plate, and I don't think they're hungry enough to kill a Morphling, Queen of Pain, and Doom when they're so overfarmed. I'll fly back Windan, one more time Primal and try, Nob. but... His throne's open now. For PMA, he's trying, dude. He's true to his name. He's fighting to the last second, but he is just outnumbered. And that's not what Mother wants. She wants to outnumber the opponents. Not like this. That was definitely against her, uh, her style of play. Well, there you and go. Doom. GG Cool. Game one goes to the Burnt Bread Boys. They're looking good. It's Fortnite Man and the boys here. Crystallize not dying a single time. Moonlight also just popping off in this game. Yeah, I mean, that's good. I like that, honestly. Uh, some teams insta-pick, they say, okay, that's what we want. But I like when teams take the time to think, because they even have the potential here to flex or not flex. Gonna go with the Monkey King, finally, so... Yes. Oh, we're seeing this mid lane, Monkey against the Storm Spirit. 4-1 and one for Moonlight in this early laning stage, but... And Monkey King can do very well against the Storm in that 1v1. Yeah, he has it's the stun for now on Monkey, so... Days? Is he dead to this Jakiro and Dragon Knight? I think Knight? so. One Breathe Harry Fire is available. Breathe Fire, dual breath. Yeah, they've got him. Yeah, breathe that. Well, that's a sad way to die. Let's see what we're going to do elsewhere. A lot of, a lot of focus on that mid lane because it is a, a fun little one. They're even teeping the Dark Willow in there. It looks oh, yeah. like Shadow Demon and Beastmaster just sticking out on their own while mid lane, Daze and Niku onto Moonlight with the Brambles, the Blood Grenade, Shadow Demon here with a save to buy a bit of time for Moonlight, but he's walked back into the Brambles to die. That's pretty damn good. Dark SD Willow. gets the fifth poison here on the monkey. Oh, he doesn't get it, he missed. Still, Still gonna gets it. die. And Willow's wrapped around here to at least get a, a cross kill onto QBFY, but on the bottles. Moonlight hands it over to SD, still gonna fall inside the brambles. And Riddy's here on the lion to chase Moonlight back as well. This mid lane belongs to the supports now. Get out of here, Storm. <laughs> They've commandeered this mid lane. That's what happens when you have strong, uh, a strong independent uh, Luna who can just pop into the jungle, you know. Doesn't need any support. Moonlight. The heels. The fairy Ooh. fire. Niku. Boundless heels up off the Jakiro. Stays alive and looks like they're going to get cracking here as well. Days. There we go with the final touch. High tempo from both teams coming out. And we see it moves towards top lane now. Monkey King saying, I want to stay mid. I want to go top lane. I get something done with this catapult wave. There's the jump. Right on top of the DK. Stuns the Kunker for now. Crystallize. Pops his stick. But with his Wukong's torrent. I should have enough control here with the statues hitting him to kill off the Dragon Knight. Days will body block, get there to help out. Niku's Level 4 Monkey Luna King. is here. And the gate right. play. The gate play from Got the Juice. Comes up top, secure another kill. A bonus one as Niku grabs a double kill. But we'll see what he goes for. I, I like Blink Dagger or, uh, you know, something that allows him to reposition a bit. Quite often tries that to get Gravel Willow. Bomb Spirit. We'll zip in and situations like oh god Ooh. moonlight nearly disappears he does die in the end to the monkey king here Jeez, that, that eclipse idea. damage just came out of nowhere and monkey king's still chasing he's got a he's got a glimpse here of this beast master who's been x'd and boated back into the wukongs oh wow, beautiful he made oh, the combo even though you roar it doesn't matter he sent the bolt in a way that you can you can stun him if you want it doesn't matter if you X mark and then wait one second and then send a bolt. It's always going to hit, basically, unless they have a blink out or something. Oh, X mark onto the storm. He's no mana. Oh, dear. Oh, he's TV. dead. Family strike is there. Storm is absolutely dead. They get to the Jingu as well for the monkey. Can be very happy with that. The courier snipe. Hello there. Storm just goes, goes from bad to worse. His clarity's gone. You said if you jump down from the tree, it's faster than not jumping it. So every time mm. you perfect, like frame perfect, jump down and jump up again. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, little piggy. He's X marked and boated. Where is he? Oh, what's, what's disruption. He disruption. SD was there. Oh, so what, 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 what's, what's he got? Have he got out of there? Oh, not a BKB, not a Yule. It's disruption from Shadow Demon. So Dragonite's alive and gets off his ulti. 
Daze is now the one in trouble under the Dark Willow. Uh, Beastmaster and Storm, they're getting to the back lines too. Moonlight, kind of out of mana, replenished a fair amount, but a good Earth Spike. Torrent holds them back with a Boundless. Mm -hmm, the Finger of Death, Moonlight, as he dies, he zips <laughs> forward aggressively. He wanted something, but all he gets is death and destruction. Luna's come oh, in no. to kill off QBFY, Shadow Demon down. A scrappy fight that's left everybody, including the players, utterly confused, because Fortnite Man is trying to find the Monkey King, who just jumps down from the treetops. I mean, Crick is here throwing ice pads out as Chris Lies runs away from a Luna. Oh, this is so scrappy. I'm trying to get out now? No way out, though. They're getting Too white. Much they are getting white. Niku, with Got the Juice, just stand there and kill off the Dragon Knight while Kunkka. Well, he's not quite found the Jakiro. Oh, I thought that was going to be the easier target that they would get going. Breaker, but this is your home now. You don't have a TP? You live here. He's getting helped by his team, and the Aegis will probably go to his storm so he doesn't just die next fight. And they've got a lane ward. This is a good smoke from Navi Jr., but it's it's too late to <laughs> stop the Roshan. But they might storm doesn't get it. Oh, yeah, Fortnite Man takes it. Oh, no. He's going caught, though. Oh, yeah, tries to go through the Twin Gate. Shadow Demon's glutted and boundless down. And the Lion has found the Beastmaster on the left-hand side. And how many times did we see this? Aegis has grabbed up, and then you lose it immediately. A couple of heroes dead. He tried to try to get something off of a pretty pretty dark and sad map here. Armlet into BKB. And they see a Monkey King. Catch him in the Ice Path. Macropy a Vortex from the Storm. Terrorize, though. And it's going to come in here and try and hold them back, but Niku's dead to crystallize in his BKB. PMA with a boat landing and crashing. They heal the lion. Riddies can stand the ground. Is fight back in this DK. It's crystallized. The glaives are hitting him real freaking hard. Another loosened beam on the Fortnite man, but not quite oh, enough to torrent. finish him off as a torrent from PMA. Day steps forward. Curse crown and loosened beam to take down the Dragonite. That's it. Carry. Gone. Yeah, oh, chasing for more as well. The Luna's in. Oh, oh man. <laughs> the brambles and the torrent makes it so there's no escape. Beastmaster. Ooh, wandering oh, around. looking for the catch. Pretty dangerous spot. They've cut the monkey down off the trees, though. And that's big. I try and catch Niku out here with a drag back into the vortex. But Niku's actually standing and fighting. He's alive and surviving. No way is he allowed He's to get alive. away with this. But Monkey King, he just refuses to die. There we go. Crystallize gets it done. But what does it cost you? Four for one? That's more of just a almost. Next time we'll get him. Next time the Monkey King will die. They're fighting into a, a lot of big items now. though, with a 13k lead from Na'Vi Jr. Well, then it's up. Uh, Shadow Demon's hexed up. Moved into the Torrent and Tidal Wave. And Finger of Death down. And Fortnite Man has jumped in very eagerly <laughs> and dies. Um, yeah. It, it was not on the same page as the rest of his teammates there. Everybody was running away, and the Fortnite man, he was going in. Yeah, I don't think they have it in them to turn this around. There's 17,000 lead at 23 minutes. Yeah, it's looking pretty dark right now. We'll see if the Breadstack have any surprise moves to get back into it. Right now, though, it's going to be Navi Jr. smoking towards the, monk, uh, the DK mid. Right on to the Dragon Knight. Ah, uh, yeah. The chain stuns. Far too much to handle. Not even a chance to BKB or run. He's dead for 50 seconds. And the smoke might just seal the deal here in game two. Well, Roshan is alive. And Navi Jr. complete firm hold of this top left corner as they start off with some good stuns and disables on Fortnite Man. He's dead, but he's got buyback. Not using it yet. As the rest of his team continue fighting, into Riddies, kill the lion. Maybe... Maybe? No, it's not going to work out. They've lost Crystallize. Moonlight's died and has had to buy back. Cracker is stuck here, but will TP home. At least gets back to safety. That is just a, a signal of the rest of this game to come, I feel like. Storm has just uh, you know, relinquished any kind of scaling that he could possibly ever want. We, uh, we did, <laughs> however, learn something, Gary. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll drag the wave away from it, at least. Dragonite steps forward, trying to deal with the Luna. The damage is coming his way, though, as the storm zips in. BKB'd up, focusing, got the juice. Luna nearly dead, healing back up a little touch there. I don't know if that was a Lotus Pass, too, or something. But regardless, has, has a second life anyway. Yeah, she comes back, and now you used a lot of your resources. Dragonite doesn't have that BKB anymore. And how do you stand against all these disables? Wait, what, what, what do you have? Roar? 
I guess they have Roar and Zip, so they can try. But Storm also doesn't have his PKB. Object Heroes missed his Ice Path. Looks like a die back out of Cracker. Luna is oh, being focused though. though, but has so much backup. The bodyguard just throw themselves in front of the Luna. Defend got the juice. I'm scratching those ideas as well, got the juice. All of them are scratched. We are here. We're scratching and going next. Game three, it is. Yeah, scratch game one, scratch game two. It's all about this final game of the series. We did make Na'Vi Jr. think a little bit about their last pick. So now Kunkka, Dragonite, Primal Beast. The trio core of very tanky fellas. Yeah, putting the Beast mid. Dragonite safe lane, Kunkka off lane. Still a very strong lane here, though. From Palinir to Dark Willow and Centaur. Both of them have very potent lanes, but level 2 comes in for Navi Jr. first, making a oh. play with it. Fortnite man. Ah, oh, he's done for here. Yeah, the ink swell with the blood grenade. You're right, level 2. Breaker. He needs to put a ward there just to cover the lane. Here Not comes really... the early, early moves. This Primal Beast stuff. And got the juice dead, though, up top. And get the take down the Dragon Knight while the Primal makes the rotation down south. And TP back. Pop lane, silence, stun. Going so with the Inkswell. Hanky. He's got raindrops. Hey, he's still dead, though. A lot of auto attacks coming in from that gloves. Dragon Knight really putting the, the right legs to work. Bottom gang coming in, number two. With an Invis rune this time, yeah. Surely, surely it's got to work this time. I've already spent a couple of spells here on Crystallize. The Pulverize. I should seal the deal, surely. Even... Even with the help of Cracker's Omni Knight. Eight minute rune about to come. Moonlight is not that tanky. I mean, it's it dangerous is. to go into Primal. It is. Holy his damage. Oh my god. Level is that level four, Edix? It is. I have not seen that damage output of a level four Edix with his talents. <laughs> that is absurd. At minute eight as well, right? Because usually it's a support lash where he's like level four now. Yeah, exactly. 950 damage that quickly at minute 8 is pretty crazy. Oh my goodness, and Riddy's is going to die as well. Is mid, mid Lash making a comeback? With, oh. with an Omni Knight? With, I mean, this has just been an old combo, right? Omni Lash? He's making it look nice. I wonder if we're going to see, you know, that uh, drawback that he can't use it for pushing towers, if that's going to come into effect, but maybe. Fighting heroes? This DK might overstep as well. It absolutely might. I mean, got the juice, half HP. Niku dying quickly to Moonlight. In comes Crystallize. The Luna's here. Dude, it destroys man. them both. Three in a row. Down they all go. It's oh, all the left Yeah, that's Ooh. it. I felt like that is a long time ago that they were on the same team, but that sounded like the era that you were targeting with, uh, what you were saying. Top, we see Dragonite being caught out. Centaur, Stampede. Rambles. They dodged. Oh, He's he rooted. failed the puzzle. He walked back into it. Ah, uh, that's so tough. When there are trees next to it, it's hard. You can't always go through. Sometimes it's a dead end in the maze. And the Primal Beast all taking up good positions to either smoke break or just farm jungle. Yeah, but here comes the rotation. Blinking forward as well. Oh, they blink on the illusion. They got him. They got the real one. The they Bramble. Stopped him. The Bramble. Yeah. Can't onslaught through that, can you? Niku is just straight up dead. Stab around. Gives the dominating streak to QBFI. Uh, give it to him. He deserves it. Again, that was a beautiful bramble to catch him. Oh, another, yeah, smoke. another smoke here. Going. Three-man stack. Blink four. Right in. Right on top of them. I mean, Rubik just disappears. That's a good X mark. Could drag the left track back, but the follow-through has got to come faster. And the stampede. That's a bit of distance here for the Lash. Onslaught's not long enough. Moonlight's still fine and now has the, the virtuous deal. But they're not going for a Mage Slayer. The Dragon Knight went armlet and going BKB next. We might see him go back for it, but seems unlikely at this point. Normally is a first or second item. Now Niku. Moonlight. Blade Mail, is that reflecting all the damage back on the Lash? Now bound up for the Grimstroke Gulti. But it's still just an onslaught of damage onto Niku, thanks to Fortnite Man and his move forward with a Stampede. The boat? Who's that landing on? UBFY, Willow. Dark Willow, half HP, dropping low, but Fortnite Man has stepped forward. With the Lash Rack, they've got eyes on days. Rubik's gone. Two kills in a row and no, no real casualties. Oh, look, look at the Bramble placement there. 
gorgeous stuff from this Dark Willow to catch up onto the Kunker. He was the highest net worth in the game, and now he's dead. In the grave. If you have enough damage, you don't have to worry about surviving. Just kill the enemy first. That's basically his mentality in this game. And they're playing under a ward now. Probably he's wasted his Q. Could feel like a target for them. I think you just described nuclear deterrent, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> If we've got enough nukes, they can't nuke us back. <laughs> oh, don't ask me for, for the actual stuff in the game. I have no clue. Do you? <laughs> They've got a lot of like tie-ins with you know Marvel and Disney yeah, yeah, and whatever yeah, of else. Course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fort Man, Fortnite man's gonna win every single time against anyone you talk about because he can just buy them and put them in <laughs> put them in his game. Yeah, he's got the power of like probably Goku and everything else. It's all in the game, all fair. We see and another pick off here. The fighting squad. No, not yet. Just imagine the, the chat. He, like, Chris Lies doesn't say anything in voice chat for 20 minutes. And then minute 21 hits and he just types RDY space BTW. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like just... He just ping. You ping an item. You ping the BTW. You don't even type anything. You right. just ping your item. That's fair enough. Ping an item and run down a lane. It's time to freaking go. Catch the conquer. Bramble him up. Root him and trap him with the stuns. Not enough damage comes, though. Moonlight. And QBFY gonna try and terrorize, but got the juice, he's got a PKB. Going on the Lesh. A lot of damage on the Lesh, but he's been saved up by the Omni Knight. Oh, hang on a second, this Lesh just cannot be touched. Thanks to this Omni behind him, and now the turnaround comes in. Moonlight with another stun. Luna can unload the damage on the got the juice. He nearly comes in clutch to kill Moonlight, but the heals just never ending. Two down, three, there we go. Easy as you like. Oh, beast the hero, that's very very hit or miss and right now he's been hexed up he's a little piggy and he's dead it's, and he doesn't want to buy back does he i you don't want to there's no way you want to when you have 200 gold to your bkb here man good to see the dragonite is just out on the map getting what farm he can yeah he's doing a good job staying active hex blinks in straight in onto that rubik grimstroke also caught up in the roots but does get a bit of distance so, yeah. quite an early That's the value of having Luna as well. The night vision allowed that play. If she didn't have night vision for a team there, they can't jump in like that. I think? No. No, a solar crest almost complete. Ah. Well, the smoke breaks immediately on that Dark Willow. Moonlight lifted up to high ground. Has Blink in a second, and then let's see that torrent hits him because crystallized. He's running, BKB'd up, kills off days, pulverized, but it doesn't really do a whole lot. It's BKB'd, healed by the Omni Knight. Centaur has moved forward here, looking at the Primal Beast, who's again hexed up and Bedlam down, killed off, as the Centaur jumps even deeper. It's just a chain reaction of jump a hero, kill them, look for the next one, and go! That's pretty freaking good. This might just be Mega Creeps. And Crystallized. see a sign of stopping. Oranted, try to Manta dodge it. Does have the Phantom Brace thrown at him. DK just gets turned on and killed. Nice he buy back? with buyback, but I know this, this game just feels kind of over. I'll throw the boat down. That's a good connection. Go. Torrent looks decent as well. Two men caught up in it. I'm going to spoken too trouble. soon here as Moonlight gets shredded. So does Crystallize. The Luna drops. Okay, with a couple of buybacks. They've managed to fight back. Fortnite Man is still in this dire base, though. Surrounded by five enemy heroes as Crystallize. Also buying back with Moonlight. Luna and Lesh, they want to rejoin the fight. Oh, he Lesh blinks in. He's, He's blinked back in. For this. Buys uh, back. Dies back. Fortnite man dead. So is Moonlight. And I don't know what just <laughs> happened. <laughs> They're backing out again. Okay, this is a huge level throw going on here. Chris Lesh is sieging up now. Has the swift blink. That split earth. It's annoying. Gonna wait it's for not. it to hit and then go back mm -hmm. in. Idle wave. First life nearly gone. Stampede is into the back on the Grim. They're trying to take him down as quickly as they can. On the right, Moonlight's gone in deep for the Rubik. The boats are over the top, though, so resistance here for Navi Jr. As they turn on the Lesh, nearly kill him off. The PQEs are now up, though. The Lesh Rack, even though he's leashed, able to stand here and heal a little bit off his Bloodstone, I think. And alongside this Luna doing a tremendous amount of damage. They're getting the stunned. Splitter, the splitter, they're getting man. stunned and caught up in all the disables. The Lesh Rack's dead. And so is the Luna! Niku back towards Fountain, days surviving on a sliver of HP. They have lost Kunker and DK and their final buildings in their base. But my god, they put Fort up a Mac good Man fight. He's, in. he's going for Riddis. 
Fortnite man. Go on, Fortnite show what you made man. of. He's doing it. He's pushing. Him. He's double edging. He's quadruple edging. He's Go huge. on, octuple edging. Get them all. He can't even stay on a target. He's been stunned forever. Cracker is here to maybe give a little bit of respite and safety to his Willow and his Centaur as they continue playing 3v4. Centaur else. apparently just untouchable right now. Healed up, repelled up, finally turned away back in towards Fountain, but still alive somehow. More boats flying across from PMA as this stampeding, rampaging Primal Beast is struggling to stick on him and do the damage he needs. Fortnite Man is just so He's freaking tanky. Finally turned away into the Fountain to kill him off. Oh my god, dude. I, I think Rubik must have stunned people for like a hundred seconds in that fight alone. Like, all three lanes are on your doorstep right now against a Luna. Fortnite man steps up, like you said. You go get some fishing <laughs> up on my ground. He's got what five, do you do? 5k HP. He's Jumps a beast. In. He stomps up two of them. Conquer and the Primal Beast. And the Primal Beast almost disappears in a second. Moonlight's moved right on top of him. Niku dead and forced to buy back quickly. Therefore, down. Dragonite doesn't have ulti for this fight. And Dragonite on for 30 seconds. I mean, he's low HP with no ulti, no BKB, no anything. Eclipse is out. Crystallize can stand his ground and Glaive bounce in between Primal Beast, Kunkka, and that Rubik to kill off the Rubik, send the other two back into Fountain. And a blink stomp from the Centaur going to catch out. Got the Jews on the right hand side. Hexed him up. Tons of disables, and the damage is flowing. UBFY is godlike. Give him the Beyond. Give him a Rampage because he bloody deserves it. GG's called as Navi Jr. tap out, leave the lobby. My goodness, what a freaking performance in this. Day one of the group stage. Palanitza showing off.